Welcome to Use of PPE Including Respirators. This is the fifth five respirator training videos required to be completed for Janus Corporation's Respirator Protection Program compliance. Video trainings do not need to be completed in any specific order. First off, who does personal protection equipment protect? Only the worker. Work practices, such as intact as possible removal of materials, prompt cleanup of debris and dust, and engineering controls, such as HEPA vacuums and water, protect everyone in the work area. When work practices and engineering controls are not sufficient to protect workers, then we use PPE. PPE in the form of hard hats, of eye protection, of cloth or rubber gloves, construction boots, and similar protect the worker against physical harm. Disposable coveralls helps prevent carryout exposures where hazardous materials are on the body of the worker is sometimes enhanced by the use of a shower. Respirators prevent inhalation and consumption or eating of hazardous materials that are airborne in the work area. In the field, project supervisors are responsible for enforcing proper use of personal protective equipment, including the respirators. Each employee is responsible for using the proper respirator for the job. The proper respirator with the proper filter cartridges installed not only has the capability of protecting the workers from airborne contaminants within the workspace, but is also one that provides the best possible face piece fit to the wearer's face. The best possible fit is determined by the employee's comfort in the respirator and the fitting procedure. The fitting procedure is conducted when employees are respirator trained during their initial adhera course and or prior to being assigned to work requiring a respirator at Janus. We're going to concentrate on respiratory hazards in this training. There are two basic types of respiratory hazards oxygen deficient air and contaminated air. First, let's discuss oxygen deficient atmosphere. The normal content of oxygen in everyday air is 20.9% by volume. Oxygen concentration below 19.5 are considered unsafe for human exposure because of harmful effects on bodily functions, mental processes, and coordination. At low oxygen concentrations, collapse can be almost immediate without warning and death can ensue within minutes. Oxygen levels above 23.5 is considered an oxygen-enriched atmosphere, which can cause oxygen poisoning, including damage to the lungs. Current CalOSHA regulations require that oxygen percentage in the workplace be not less than 19.5 and not more than 23.5%. Remember, normal is 20.9. It is important for an employee to understand that air purifying respirators, PAPRs, half masks, negative pressure full face respirators, which are basically the same as PAPRs but without the fan, clean particulates, fumes, mist, vapors, and gases from the atmosphere, but they do not supply oxygen. They cannot be worn in oxygen deficient atmospheres. In oxygen deficient atmospheres, supplied air respirators, compressed air delivered to the respirator through a hose, or self contained breathing apparatus, tanks of air must be worn. When there's enough oxygen, but potentially harmful amounts of contaminants in the air, Air purifying respirators are sufficient for protection, provided they are worn correctly, have the proper filtration cartridges attached, and are fitted properly. Fit testing, conducted once a year, and negative and positive seal checking, conducted each time a respirator is donned or put on, are conducted to assure proper fit of the respirator. Fit testing is conducted when a worker initially chooses a respirator and annually thereafter. Fit testing may be qualitative or quantitative, Janus Corporation typically has workers qualitatively fit tested. One of the top two pick the bottom picture is of a quantitative fit testing unit. The process used by the fit tester is described in Janus Corporation's respirator protection manual. The worker must follow the directions of the fit tester when fit testing is conducted. Seal checks for various respirators typically used by Janus Corporation half masks and full face respirators are discussed and demonstrated in detail in Janus Corporation's respirator donning and doffing training videos. Respirator cartridge color codes. For respirators to protect the worker properly, the correct cartridge, depending on the contaminants in the air of the work area, must be installed on the respirator. No color or gray colored cartridges or single use filtering face piece respirators in 95s. These are to be used for nuisance dust, silica, valley fever fungus, or other particulates not requiring heap filtration. Magenta filter cartridges are for particulates, high efficiency particulate air filter, 99.97% effective against particulate matter 0.3 microns in size, black, 
is for organic vapors. White is for acid gases. Yellow for acid gases and organic vapors. Green is for ammonia. If harmful particulate and harmful gases and or vapors exist in the same work area, stack cartridges must be worn. Stack cartridges account for particulates, dust, fumes, and mist with the HEPA filter and account for the existing harmful gas or vapors with an absorption filter attached to and covering the HEPA filter. Various colors will protect you from various gases and vapors. Stack cartridges must be sold as a single unit by the manufacturer. The respirator wearer cannot stack the cartridges together manually. Things to remember about PPE, including respirators. Asbestos, lead, and other particulate matter are typically controlled by use of a HEPA-filtered respirator. HEPA-filtered respirator cartridges are typically magenta or purple in color. Air purifying respirators cannot supply oxygen and cannot be used in oxygen-deficient atmospheres. Supplied air respirators and self-contained breathing apparatus respirators must be used for oxygen-deficient atmospheres. When workplace contains both particulate matter and gaseous airborne contaminants, stack cartridges must be worn. Fit tests are conducted annually. Seal checks are conducted every time a respirator is put on. Respirators protect against airborne contaminant and also protect against consumption or eating of hazardous materials. Thank you for listening. Please proceed to the use of PPE, including respirators quiz.